program our own series of notes into Soundbeam 2, it'll be a good idea to start with the user setup. These are located from 31 through to 128. So we'll load one of those. Now if we press the pitch sequence button and again select a user pitch sequence, and these also are located from 31 up. If we page right five times through to the record division page, we can now press the enter button and begin entering the chord. We can have up to four notes here, and so we use the wheel to select the note and then the right arrow to take us across to the next division that we might want to enter. And in this way, we can build up these chords, each of up to four notes. If we press Enter, then we can select the next division. So this is putting us in a position to enter our second chord. However, if you've got a MIDI keyboard, and if that makes use of the five pin DIN style MIDI cable, you can connect the MIDI output from the, s from the uh, keyboard to the MIDI input of Soundbeam 2. In this way we can now play the chords in sequentially and allocate the divisions. And each time it waits for the next division to be entered. So once you're happy with your chords that you've put in, in this case we've put in four chords, if you press and hold the enter button and press the pitch sequence button, it gives you the option to save the pitch sequence. And we can name it by pressing the pitch sequence and paging right to the name. And if you press enter, we can use the dial and the left to right arrows to move to each digit and we can enter letters and numbers and characters in this way. Once we're happy with the name we press enter to save it. Now we might choose to assign it to a beam or to a switch. So here if we select sensor beam 1 and here we've changed the divisions to 4 the pitch sequence is, is already there, it's assigned, it's our chords scale, number 31, and we can hear the four chords save our work in progress, we can press and hold the enter button and this time press the setup button. It will give us the opportunity to save 31 to 31 and then enter to accept and we've saved our um, recent amendments. Now if we press the setup button and page right and enter, we can use the rot rotary wheel and the left and right cursors to enter our name for this setup. So when you've entered your name using the rotary wheel and the left right icons, if you press enter and then enter again to complete the saving function and perhaps to check that our material saved. If we press the setup button and rotate and select one of the factory presets and load that and then go back to your setup. So set up and then rotate to your user setup and press enter. Uh, your work should be saved there. So that's creating a note sequence using the rotary wheel or a MIDI keyboard and saving it into Sandbeam 2 and assigning it to a beam.